everyone, for today's video, we're going to study measures of length. Did you know that Burj Khalifa is a very tall skyscraper in Dubai United Arab Emirates and it is the tallest building ever built at 828 meters or 2,717 feet. It has 163 floors. One of the most common tools in measuring length is a ruler. We use a ruler in measuring short objects. The centimeter or cm is a metric unit of length that can be used to measure short objects like notebook, pencil, cell phone, scissors, eraser, and paper clip. The other tools that can be used to measure length are the meter stick and the tape measure. We use the meter stick and tape measure in measuring long objects. The meter or M is a metric unit of measurement that can be used to measure long lengths like the height of the building, height of a person, height of the house, and the width of the floor. We also have what you call the kilometer or km. It is a metric unit of length that can be used to measure long distance that is from one place to another place. So now children, I want you to help me identify the more appropriate unit that can be used for the following objects. So we're going to write cm for centimeter, m for meter, and km for kilometer. Are you ready? Let's have the first one. A crayon. Which of the following is the best unit? When we measure the length of the crayon. Very good, we're going to use centimeter because a crayon is just a short object. How about this one? That's correct, children. The answer is centimeter. How about this? The height of the tree. Good job, it's meter. How about this one? The height of the post. Very good! It's a meter. How about this? The distance from your school to a shopping mall. Good job! It's kilometer. Always remember when you're talking about the distance of one place to another place, you're going to use kilometer. How about this? The height of the flagpole. Very good! It's meter. How about this one? The length of the pencil case. Good job, children! It's centimeter. How about this? The length of a 10-wheeler truck. Good job! It's a meter! How about this one? The distance from your house to a wet market. Good job! It's kilometer! Always remember that in every 1 meter, you have 100 centimeter. So what if you have 5 meters? How many centimeter do you have? Good job! You will have 500 centimeter. Since in every 1 meter, you have 100 centimeter. So 5 times 100, that is 500 centimeter. How about this? If you have 900 centimeter, how many meters do you have? Good job, children! You have 9 meters. And always remember, in every 1 kilometer, you have 1,000 meters. So what if we have 5 kilometers? How many meters do we have here? Good job! We have 5,000 meters. How about this one? If you have 7,000 meters, how many kilometers do you have? Good job! We have 7 kilometers. 
So now children, help me box the possible length of the following objects. Are you ready? Let's start. Look at the cell phone. Is it 10 centimeter or 10 meters? Very good! It is 10 cm. How about this one? The height of a tree. Is it 5 cm or 5 meters? Very good! It's 5 meters. How about this one? The length of a jumping rope. Good job! It's 2 meters. How about this? So now children, help me convert the following units. 10 meters, how many centimeters do we have? Remember, in every 1 meter, we have 100 centimeters. So if we have 10 meters, how many centimeters do we have? Good job! We have 1000 centimeters. How about this? 400 cm, how many meters do we have? Fantastic! We have 4 meters. You just erase the two zeros. Since we have 100 cm in every 1 meter. How about this one? 5000 cm, how many meters do we have? Very good! We have 50 meters. Again, just remove the two zeros. How about this one? 2 meters, how many centimeters do we have? Good job, children! We have 200 centimeters. All you need to do is to add two zeros. How about this one? 2 kilometers is equal to how many meters? Always remember children, in every 1 kilometer, we have 1,000 meters. So if we have 2 kilometers, how many meters do we have? Good job! We have 2,000 meters. Again, always remember, in every 1 kilometer, we have 1,000 meters. How about if we have this? 10 kilometers is equal to how many meters? Fantastic! We have 10,000 meters. How about this one? 9,000 meters is equal to how many kilometers? Good job, children! We have 9 kilometers. All you need to do is to remove 3 zeros. How about this one? 15,000 meters is equal to how many kilometers? Very good! We have 15 kilometers. Again, just remove the three zeros. Always remember children, in measures of length, we use three units. The first one is the centimeter or cm. We also have the meter or m. And the kilometer or km. Centimeter or cm is a metric unit of length that can be used to measure short objects. While the meter or m is a metric unit of length that can be used to measure long lengths. And kilometer or km is a metric unit of length that can be used to measure long distance. Is that clear? And in every 1 meter, we have 100 centimeter. And in every 1 kilometer, we have 1,000 meters. That's all for today, children. Bye!